good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time y'all listen. And the DSPs are watching on YouTube. What's good? It's Marquis, aka Severe, aka Severely yours. Like, subscribe, and notification bell, man. Comment below, man. It's Lloyd Banks, man. Come on, man. G Unit member, soloist. He's on a comeback tour right now, pretty much. He's on that. That Nas comeback tour <laughs> right now. So let's talk about it, man. Louis Banks, he's originally from Baltimore, Maryland. I believe he's representing South Jamaica, Queens with 50 in them, I guess. But Louis Banks, the course of the inevitable three. This is number three. Which one y'all think is better? One, two, or three? Put them in order. Put them in order. Put the projects in order. One, two, three. Ah, in order, which one do you like better, man? And this one's called Pieces of My Pain. Came out April 21st, 2023. 53 minutes, 50, I mean, 38 seconds of fire, pure heat, man. Let's talk about it, man. Lloyd Banks, he's on the run, man. You know, they say Nas is on the run, you know, a rerun. He's on the run, on the run. You know, Nas is always on the run. Now he's on a run or a rerun, a rerun, a rerun. So I think Lloyd Banks is doing the same thing. He got a three piece, three. This is the third album that that's people have been talking about, it, man. It's really incredible. Let's talk about it, man. Pieces of My Pain is the first track. It's produced by George Jetson. Um, my writing arm is Megatron. This dude said my writing arm is Megatron, like a gun, like. He has various quotables. This is like a mix between mixtape banks and songwriting banks. And this is where I like him at right here, man. This is it, man. This other, what's the other bar he said? He said something about, um, I'm not a smart student. He said something about, so I'll be a stupid teacher. So he's basically saying, you're stupid, man. Don't teach, man. Don't, if you know you're stupid, don't teach nothing. Don't. <laughs> Yeah, I was dying, man. But let's talk about the song, Pieces of My Pain, George Jackson production. The haunting Jason movie track gives Banks a dark and raw background. So he's allowed to vent pieces of his pain. Uh, he's the mixtape king, man. You know, he is the mixtape king. Shout out to uh, Banks, man. He's at least one of them. Uh, you know, when everyone talk about who's the best, who got the best mixtape series, Lloyd Banks is one of them. That's all I gotta say. That's all I'll say. Number two is Onyx AMG. Uh, this is produced by Hoss Almighty. Uh, nosy bees got my name in their mouth. I'm used to tonsils. <laughs> like he said, something like that. That's, I'm trying not to chop up people's balls, but he says, he said nosy, nosy, nosy bees. You know, nosy women. Some nosy bad women uh, got their name. Uh, his name in their mouth, man. He, he's, he's he's used to their tonsils instead of... Oh, I'm like, this dude's bugging, man. All right, so listen. Number two on his AMG. The Bells put you in a spell on this joint. Song uh, is a huge rewind or play again record. Banks is talking his I'm the King bars, you know. He's a dark, onyx villain on this one. He's a dark, honest villain. He's putting in some work, man. Yo, this bars on here, man. He's... Yo, he's quotables all day for Banks, man. That's all I gotta say. Number three, one of my favorite tracks, Money Machine. The Money Machine, got the machine in the background. I like when he be like, blip, blip, flip, 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 funk master flip, whatever. I always say that, 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 that joint's dope the way he did it, man. Um, Money Machine, Hoss, uh, Almighty Production. This beat uh, with the funky piano got me in the zone. Uh, Lloyd Banks' flow takes me you know, somewhere, man. And it just takes the cake. Lloyd, Lloyd Banks' flow takes the cake, man. He leaves us with various repeatable lyrics, man. Uh, number four, Cliffhanger, produced by B. Don. Shout out to B. Don. B. Don, I'm working, man. B. Don's another producer that be working, you know. Cliffhanger. Banks and B. Don have a, a chemistry as well. Uh, like Bert and Ernie, you know. Uh, Lloyd Banks can uh, dominate beats that others would have trouble with, you know. He got a silky flow. Uh, he's always been smooth. I mean, I think I believe like uh, there was a time he was rough around the edges, and a lot of people wasn't rock with Banks. But I was once in a while still peep in and check out his mixtapes. But Banks is back, man. He's back. 
on my list, man. Lloyd Banks, man. All right, number five, another joint that sticks out. 101 uh, Raises, 101 Raises, produced by B. Dawn, featuring Method Man. Back-to-back B. Dawn tracks are always a plus. Uh, maybe an entire album, Banks. Banks and B. Dawn. Come on, wink, wink, wink. Uh, this beat is hot like lava. It's sharp like the RZA. Feature Method Man is always a plus because he's rapping better with age. I think Method Man is rapping better with age. He's getting fine. Oh, man, I'm going to say fine like wine. I got to say uh, pause, right? Oh, Lord, man. Pause. But Banks is a, is a lyrical alien man as well, man. He's just always somebody that I'm waiting to, to listen to. He's, not, he's one of them rappers, again, that you... If he's on a track, if he's on a feature, even if it's on his own album, you know he's going to rap again after the feature. Like, so you ready for that verse, man. Banks, man, we ready for you, man. You got great projects, man. And I'm telling you, this one's, this one's a banger, too. Number six is movie scenes produced by George Jetson. Uh, we get an upbeat, trap-type beat. Banks can adapt to any and all-type beats. This song is catchy. It's one of those catchy songs. That could be on the radio. That could make the radio. It could be a, a song that people listen to. Like the generation nowadays. Because it has a little bit of that trap vibe. It's catchy too. And it's, so, I mean, kids like the catchy tunes and the choruses. So, I don't know. We'll see. What, what, what do y'all guys think? What do y'all guys think? Number seven, Open Gates. Produced by Cartoon Beats. Banks Flow. And Wicked Wordplay is top tier. Uh, he has a formula for song creation. You know, he knows how to put a song together. He needs to thank 50, I bet. I know 50 Cent probably told him how to do the song structure, but he's good at it now. Uh, he just, he just, he's better than, he's better than the teacher. He surpassed his teacher. He has surpassed his teacher. Lloyd Banks has surpassed his teacher in songwriting. He's just better. He's better. He's better than 50 right now. What y'all think? What y'all think? Who's better? Who's a better? Who's a better songwriter? I mean. You know, 50's in that, he's doing the films now, so maybe he's better than that, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, Lloyd Banks, he raps his vocals around these these, these tracks, man, so uh, shout out to Banks, man. He he really controls the track. Number 8, LSD, featuring Vardo, uh, produced by Cartoon Beats. Vardo is always a feature, you you know, you welcome to your platform, you welcome to your track. Uh, you only can uh, call certain people uh, lyricists. Uh, Vardo and Banks are beyond lyricists. They are icon lyricists. They've been around for a while. They haven't really disappointed in a in variety of lyri their lyrics or bars. Um, hashtag icon lyricists. Icon lyricists, man. Number nine, voices. I'm hearing voices. Every time I hear voices, I think about oh, man, some other song. But I'm hearing voices. What do y'all think that is? Uh, voices, produced by Cartoon Beats. This beat gives me energy. I get energy off this beat. Banks hears voices. He opens up on a song, shares with us on, on this song. Uh, we both benefit with self-therapy on this track because he's sharing stuff that is near and dear to his heart and might be near and dear to our heart and our world. So thanks for sharing, Lloyd Banks. You know, any artist out there sharing um, personal information, we... Uh, we, we thank you and we, you know, we, that's brave. It's brave. Number 10, Red Alert, featuring 38 Special and Tony Yayo, produced by Haas Almighty. This sounds like an a insane combination, but it's good. These beats hit the soul and provide rap and hip hop goosebumps. I like this beat. Music feels alive. Bank controls the track like a conductor. Like a conductor, man. 38 Special comes through with his evil twins. He got the evil twins out. You know what I mean? And he shoots up the, the party real quick. Then one quarter G unit Tony Yale brings the ammo so they won't be fresh out, man. So it's war. It's war time. Uh red alert. Red alert, it's war time. Yo. Tough track. Lloyd Banks is out rapping about 90% of the rap industry right now. Bars are sharp. Let me know. Who can out rap Lloyd Banks right now? Lloyd, I mean, there's a lot of out rappers that could out rap Lloyd Banks, but ain't that many. Lloyd Banks is in a, a, a small few of certain rappers that that can get busy. Y'all gotta be honest. Lloyd Banks is that one of them dudes, man. Number eleven, Keys to Success, produced by Haas. Haas Almighty. 
He pretty much did most of the uh, the album, right? How's that mighty? Um, keys to success. This beat feels dramatic and spooky. Banks is keeping uh, the album kind of dark, dank, and dangerous, man. I would, uh, you know, I, I think I would have used this song for a mixtape, or maybe this, this mixtape before, or just a loose loose single or something. I like the song. I won't. It's not skippable, but it seemed like it was. It took me off track a little bit from the album, but I still in tune with the album. Go back to number twelve. Automatic Pilot, I'm back on track, man. Featuring Dave East and Vardo, produced by Cartoon Beats. Cartoon Beats can be challenging sometimes. His beats, uh, each rapper tackles the high flying song on Automatic Pilot. Great features. Shout out to Dave East, uh, huge fan. And shout out to Vardo. You already know I talked about Vardo early. He's dope. Uh, 13 Invisible, another joint that stands out, produced by Cartoon Beats. Yo, we get a break from the gloomy vibe with this lively track. Uh, the beat is fire, man. We uh, receiving stories, bars, lyrics, and etc. from Lloyd Banks that we appreciate. And he is filling up these composition notebooks, man. And we are happy that he is. I wonder if he's going to do a part four or he's going to do a new series. I wonder what Banks is doing next. What do you guys think Banks is going to do next? Oh, man, I'm excited. Uh, number 14, Daddy's Little Girl, uh, produced by Cartoon Beats. Uh, any Daddy's Little Girl song, I'm so biased. Uh, I have a little girl of my own. Uh, you know, that's a big girl. My little girl's a big girl. You know, you know they, 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 she's a woman, right? She's in her 20s, right? Uh, I love you, Pumpkin. I just want to say I love you, uh, Pumpkin. I call her nicknames. I'm going to tell you a name out there. But uh, great song, great record. And every time I think of you know songs like this, and like a, a lot of rappers can't pull this off. These are great records that you talk about your siblings, your, your daughters, your sons. These are personal records, man. A lot of people can't pull them off and make them hits. This is a hit record. The other hit record that talks about daughters that I always talk about is um, R.A. the Rugged Man. Shout out to R.A. the Rugged Man, dope rapper, another dope rapper, right? Um, you got a song called First Born, and it's off. All My Heroes Are Dead. It's an album called All My Heroes Are Dead. I reviewed that. The album's fire. It's actually one of my top viewing videos, you know, on here. Uh, people love R.A. The Rugged Man. He slept on dope. And I like that song, First Born, man, by him. That song is fire. One of the best father-daughter songs is R.A. The Rugged Man, you know, First Born. And then Daddy's Little Girl, this one come gets up there. This one gets up there. I like this one. I like this one. Speaking of little girls, man, um, this is where she went. My, my little girl went to school. And uh, speaking of her, go get the merch, man. She sells merch with me. Uh, get the merch in the uh, description. Get the books in the description. First book, Sabia's Chronicles Volume 1, Sabia's Chronicles Volume 2, um, Sabia's Classics, man. Your favorite artists are in these books. I got a third book on ebook, and they all on ebook as well. But you can get one to two physicals, you can get two books on physicals. And all three on ebook. So support if you can the, the merch and the books, man. Appreciate it. Last song, man, is called actually two more songs. I thought it was uh, last song. Two more songs. Fifteen is uh, showers, and it's uh, produced by the Germ. The Germ. This is a softer tone record, uh, but Banks handles it with professionalism. Uh, it's a lovely record, heartfelt record. Banks is sharing on here, and all three of these inevitable. Uh, Albums he's been giving us, giving us his all, and I appreciate it, man. Number number sixteen, last track, the deceitful intentions, uh, featuring Cormega, uh, produced by Cartoon Beats. This last track is fire too. Loving the messages, passion for hip hop that Banks returns uh, has been like his return has been great. He has a great, it's, it's, it's just a great return. Uh, shout out to Cormega on this track, uh, dope rapper. Lloyd Banks has been on a Nas run. I said it earlier, he's been on a Nas run. And the reason I'm saying in a Nas run, because he's kind of started at first, you know, people say, oh, he should retire. You know, he, maybe they, people thought he retired. Then he started coming back out with classical um, music, dope music, you know, even, even classic. A lot of people say Nas got, I don't know, two, three more classics since he came back out with Hit Boy. Uh, so let me know what y'all think, you know, so I think Lloyd Banks is on a Nas run. I'm calling it hashtag Nas run. 
2023 Money by Any Means Incorporated slash Empire. We're coming back from Baltimore, Maryland, where Lloyd Banks is from. And, um, you know, he does claim, I, I believe, South Jamaica, Queens. Shout out to New York. Um, the Course of the Inevitable 3, man. Part 3, Pieces of My Pain. <sighs> he shared some piece of his pain. We appreciate it. Yo, thanks for sharing. Uh, Lloyd Banks this is a tough, tough album. I will put it up there for album of the year. You guys think this album should be up for album of the year? What do you guys give it on a 1 to 5 Mike's uh, rating? Let me know in the comments below. This is a fire, fire album. Oh, then put the, put the, uh, which one you like your, is your favorite? Like, this, there's three of these. So, do you like three first, then, then one, then two? Or you like one, two, three, like that? What order do you like um, the courses? Your courses. <laughs> your courses, right? The course of the inedible, uh one, two, or three. Which one's your, your favorite? Uh, let me know, man. But, thanks. I appreciate it, man. Thanks a lot, man. Y'all get the books. Y'all get the gear, the merch. Y'all support Banks, man. Support Lloyd, support Lloyd Banks, man. Yo, he's one of the best, man. He's top 25, top 10, maybe even top 20 um, lyricists of 2023 so far. And uh, keep doing what you're doing, Banks. Peace. One love.